What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Pyro and today we're gonna do some uh, spark plug cleaning. So I bought this kit here from uh, the old Harbor Freight and uh, part number is 32860 and it was $10, okay? Uh, this thing's pretty cool because it's a spark plug cleaner and it actually comes with some media already in it. Uh, but will I, what I wanted to do was clean my spark plugs. So comes a little bag, comes with this little guy here. And then, um, it also comes with a little baby pack of media. Not, not, nothing too crazy, but just a little pack right here. Um, and then, uh, I bought this other pack, this other bottle of media here um part number here is three two eight six zero uh spark plug cleaner media right so what i'm going to do is take these spark plugs right here that you know they don't seem that bad but i just want to clean them just to make sure so i'm going to go through the process with you of how to clean these spark plugs um, I have my Teflon tape here because uh, according to instructions and TikTok and all these other places that I've seen, it says to protect the threads. Uh, so with this product here, you want to make sure that the tape is going away from you. Uh, put it on here like that and just wrap it around a couple of times, right? And uh, protect those threads. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna mount this uh, this bad boy on the wall uh, I'm gonna put that this guy on there and then I'm gonna mount it to the wall so that way it looks like this and then uh, we're gonna take off this little plastic cap here so this little plastic cap right here and that's where the spark plug goes you just push it in there maybe you give it a couple twists and whatnot and then uh, push this button right here, and it's gonna go kablooey. It's just gonna go psh, real crazy. Uh, but I'm gonna mount it to the wall right now with this guy, and then um, I'll get back to you in just a second when it's already mounted to the wall, okay? I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I drilled some holes here, uh, and then I put a couple of uh, push pegs in there. And now I'm going to take these two screws right here that I found in my drawer. And I'm just going to attach this uh, bad boy here. I put the media in the bag. And uh, now I'm going to attach that guy to the wall. You know, just that way it's stationary and I don't have to mess with it anymore. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick. Give me just a second. All right, she's all melted up. I got the, uh, the screws in there. Looks like it's going to hold pretty good. I got the media just sitting here in the bag. The media came with uh, the media came with the bat with the, with the product itself. So uh, here I got the spark plugs in there and um, here's what they look like. Let's see if I can show you what they'll look like. I put some Teflon tape on there to protect the threads, but you can see that they got a little bit of gunk on them. Uh, I'll show you the before and after. So here's the um, the spark plug in there, and now I just gotta get the uh, the air hose here. Take it over here, plug it in. Oh, hold on! I need two hands. Let's put this on my forearm, huh? Well, well let's see what happens. Forearm action. Nope, not gonna work. Hold on a second. Ugh. There we go, I got it on there. It's uh doesn't seem very good, but it's on there. So here's the button right here you're gonna push. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna blast media onto this uh, spark plug here. Which looks okay right now, but you know. Let's see. Push it in there. Push the thing. It's very loud. 
And uh, yeah, it looks like it's cleaning it up, so that's good. I guess that's good. There's also a lever on the side that you can uh, mess with to, you know, either add more meters. Either add more media or less media. Let's see what happens when I just put my finger on there. Oh yeah, you can feel stuff hitting it. And you can see that the Teflon tape is starting to wear down just a little bit because it's starting to, to clean that area. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'll uh, do all four of these and then uh, I'll get back to you in just a second, okay? All right, so check this out. This is the one I just got done cleaning. And you can see that the probe is clean, like the ceramic is clean. Even the mounting or the mating surface is clean too. This is the older one here. I got this one going here. And then this is an older one here. And then this is an older one. So I'm gonna clean these three here and then I'll get back to it. Boy, you can definitely see the difference. This product was only $9, and I'm going to tell you like this, man. Holy moly, that made a big difference. So give me just a second. I'm going to clean all these other ones, and I'll get back to you. Just a All right, so here we are. All four are nice and pretty. All right, let me just put them in line. How about that? So that way you can see all of them. So all four are nice and pretty. Uh, that thing did a really good job, you know, for $10 can't complain so uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll install them in the car and see if that works but if it doesn't then you know it's okay I'll check the fuel injectors next but um, I had dirty spark plugs that's how I saw it and uh, so I bought this product and hopefully it works out actually I know it works out it worked really nice ten dollars uh, mount it to the wall hook up some air to it and then uh, call it a day so that was really nice. Um, that's the end of this video. Hit me up if you uh, thought that was good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.